Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide, where in this video we're going to be taking a look at the RO86 Alunknos, I don't know how it's pronounced, a semi-stealth bomber jet added as part of the KO Perico Heist DLC. So for the price of 4.35 million undiscounted, you get your hands on a plane which is basically what we've been asking for when Smuggler's Run came out. A bomber plane that can actually go stealth! And I say this is a semi-stealth plane because, well, unlike the Acula and the Stealth Annihilator, the RO-86 Alunknost uh, only goes into stealth mode when you fly at a certain altitude or higher, which the game describes as being at high altitude. How high? This high. This is bad, because, well... Bombing is the only thing that this thing does, nothing else. And as you all know, unless you've had extensive training and practice, bombing at high altitude is just not a very practical idea in GTA Online. I like to think of bombs as those, ha, I was there like 30 seconds ago, weapons. Assuming you've practiced enough to hit a target within one meter accuracy of the height that you need to be in stealth mode, you also have to hope that your target either doesn't move at all, or that you've correctly calculated where they will be by the time the bomb hits the ground. They're completely impractical, out of the question, especially since we have all of the other stuff in GTA Online plaguing the area. And it's not like you can just drop bombs around the city willy-nilly, because it has a limited capacity of just 50 bombs. What else does this plane have? Well, uh, it's got countermeasures, a second seat for a passenger to sit down, and only sit down, they don't do anything else. Um, three rocket blow-up armor? At least it'll survive a bit of a beating if it gets spotted. It's... I'm struggling here. This is quite possibly the worst addition to the game in this DLC. For its price and sheer size of the thing, which literally takes up an entire hangar as it's an extra large category plane, this thing is just a big waste of money. There's planes like the Bombushka that exist, but at least that thing can carry vehicles and has some extra weaponry. This thing, on the other hand, has pretty much nothing going for it. What it really needs is a guided air-to-ground missile, like the Predator drone. That would have been awesome. Especially since the submarine has it and it wouldn't be as overpowered because it would have the downside of it being large and open to attack. But it doesn't, and this will most likely just be another piece of content that GTA 5 gets bloated with year by year, increasing the download size of the game unnecessarily. But hey, let me know what you guys think about this thing. Am I missing something? Probably. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and all that stuff, blah blah blah. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you around.